mommy and I immigrated to this country. She taught me that little things were actually really big things. The garage where floor was bed became a mansion of imagination where my mother was also my father. Where Spanish was a Bible that erased all struggle and the nine digit that branded me citizen was non-existent. You see, I've always been oblivious to the alien people saw in me until opportunities were blank. Like the social security line I couldn't fill in, never turned in like my vote in an election. But before I got crazy, mommy taught me patience. Growing up, mommy never let my bare feet touch ground. You see, she knew friends whose brothers and daughters and sisters all died with blistering feet under a blistering sun crossing the border. Mommy taught me how to swim. It was her simple way of erasing the bitter taste of dead bodies from tongue, you see. They call us immigrants wetbacks because my people never lifted from the pits of the Rio Grande. Fabi, speak up, talk louder. She didn't want my voice to recede to the sound of a whisper or become silent like statistic. So she said, baby, in your body, one body all will stand. And yes, they do, mommy. And we ain't going anywhere. We ain't going anywhere. We ain't going anywhere. We're recording this time because the last time there was a thing. Hi, welcome back to Sunday Morning Sessions. My name is Dre Magics. I'm your host here with your two guests, Faye Hernandez and Ariana Lady Bosco. How are you guys doing? What's up? I'm good. I'm pretty good. Um, so the next project you guys have coming up is called Heartstorms. I was, I had the pleasure of being in it kind of before. Um, but you were in it, um, yeah. but tell, tell everyone about what heart storms is and how the idea came, came about. Sure. Heart storms is a show about an open mic, the people who gather the stories they tell. And in my iterations of it, when I was the subject, um, and the lady who hosts it, it is my love letter to the open mic culture, of which I'm so fortunate to be mm -hmm. part of, to witness, uh, so many creators work. Uh, it started in 2003. It was called Gasp at that time, um, and it was a series of my pieces strewn together with a, the narrative being the pieces. Um, and then it evolved as I grew as an artist and came to produce and curate spaces and hold space for other artists into this hybrid of a um, mic and a feature, almost. Um, and I was fortunate enough to do it in 2011 at L in Lamert Park. Um, 2017 at The Great Company, and 2018 for LA Get Down, which is part of uh, DPL, and was, was asked back this year. So um, I put my subject story to bed, and I am now developing Faye Hernandez's Heart Storm, which will be April 19th at LA Get Down, and Figgy Baby's Heart Storm, which is the very following day, uh, April 20th. Back to back. Back to back. So, um... The, the heart storm you did was, and the lady who hosts it. Mm -hmm. right. Faye, tell us uh, oh. about your heart storm, the title, and what's going to be the content within it. Okay, so. Wh what's that tagline? The tagline is Hood Criatura in Transit. Mm -hmm. uh, One more time. Hood Criatura in Transit. Hood Criatura. Mm. Did I say that right? Yeah, Criatura. Um, so my work is pretty much about my immigration story. Uh, me living living in Inglewood, kind of like the culture around that, and then it's the process from me going from a male identified person to exploring my sexuality as gay, and then transitioning into trans non-binary, which is my identity now, and the whole journey from that. Cool. Um, how does that play in your your art creatively? Is do you try and stick to all the content being that journey, or? Mm. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like you're making your struggle your art form or is there more space to breathe within like just normal other things? I think that the personal is always political. Right. I think my work is always, like my story is always embedded in anything I do, even if it has nothing to do with immigration, nothing right. to do with my queerness. Um, so yeah, I've seen it in my artwork, I've seen it in my poetry. Um, for me, it's a form of protest. It's a form of creating representation and so Indubitably, I feel like I need to embed my story into everything I do because it's for the community, it's for other voices like mine who don't get to see themselves on a day-to-day -day basis. Nice. And um, you mentioned you were non-binary, mm. and we, we've been friends for a little bit of time. 
and I even myself I kind of slip up on the uh, pronoun situation what advice would you give because you know there people aren't used to it yet that's the that's what it is and it's do you get mad do you get frustrated do you try and educate or what what advice would you kind of give for um, a colleague or a friend that's trying their best but you know you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. or a teacher that tries their best <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, I think um, so it was a, it's a two-part answer so my first part was I would think I was really frustrated at first um, there's a lot of um, conservatism and there's a lot of cis hetero spaces that exist and so me existing as a non-binary person and saying hey can you like respect me uh, address me as they them it's obviously very difficult for everybody it's difficult for me at times mm -hmm. I couldn't even like I, f I would forget my own pronouns at the beginning because it's hard to transition but if I can do it if my students can do it then I believe that anyone can do it um, the advice that I would give um, to any other queer person dealing with this is well one I learned to be patient you have to be patient and not take things personally. Like it's more about intention. Exactly. Mm -hmm. When people are trying, right, like I, it, it shows and for me that's enough. I'm like, all right, I mean, it's enough to some degree because I do hope that there's a transition where right. we get it down and we're all on the same page. Um, but I am very patient because it's an acculturation. It's, it's, it's a new form of thinking and processing and language is difficult. English is difficult as it is. And so for us to embed something new, um, to implement something new in our um, normal way of speaking on a day-to-day -day basis is hard. So I personally understand that. I know a lot of queer few people get really frustrated, like, why do we have to be patient? Like, when we, you know, we've had to, you know, wait for people to respect us on, like, a simple level. So I get it, you know. But I have made a choice for myself, like, I don't want to live angry. I don't want to mm. live frustrated. Mm. I want to be able beautiful. to live my life and be calm. And so don't take shit personally. Right. Let it go. Right. And your heart storms is coming up. What what would you want your audience to take away from that piece of work mm. about yourself, about the open mic space? I would like them to take away the fact that we are intersectional people, that nothing is black and white. We are very complex and we need to understand that we are intersectional beings. So we need to understand nuance. Our stories are nuanced. My story wow. is my story. And um, even though I'm creating representation, I'm still light skin. I'm still like, you know, we cross with the visa. Like there's still certain things that are not the same for everyone else. It is my job to encourage people to stand up and share their stories because all I can do is offer myself, offer my vulnerability as a way for, as a gateway, as a gateway for people to do the same. Cool. Um, and while we wrap up, what are some places where everyone can find you? Social media handles? Um, live spaces they can see your work at other than heart storms we'll put in that plug in a bit but um, yeah where where can people find you um, people can find my work on Instagram it's literally my name fei dot Hernandez uh, my website fayhernandez.com um, and then I usually just perform everywhere in downtown I'm asked to feature um, I do host an open mic at um, food for thought um, mm -hmm. in Angel City Brewery every last Thursday of the month so y'all can come by um, is pretty dope and yeah just catch me catch me around nice and ariana where can we find your work in the world at palms up academy and there will be links to pretty much everyone that i'm connected with related in that tribe and all perfect well thank you guys for coming out to sunday morning sessions um let's go eat sounds good You know he doesn't love you, so why the hell are you going to go hang out with him? Why don't you just go into your room and sing that SZA song you're always singing? Leave me lonely for prettier women You know I need too much attention for shit like that You know you're wrong for shit like that I could be your supermodel if you believe, if you see it in me, if you see it in me, if you see it in me, I don't see myself. Why I can't stay alone just by myself? I wish I was comfortable just with myself. But I need you, I need you, I need you. My lover fears me. I guess there was too much Selena in my walk. Too much Frank Ocean in my loving, I guess. I was too much storm in the summer. 
I was too much sugar on the tongue. I was too much spirit. I was too many ancestors in a room for him. To that heteroflexible fuckboy that swore he loves me, I'm a threat. These soil brown eyes are a pending earthquake. They're a possession. These lips are a wild detour, wild harvest, and this love is a caution sign. It's a red light. He's clearly not used to the ways of the earth, the way my loving can swoop him in one touch like wind. He is not used to a transient love like sound bath or universe energy. He is not used to the howling woman on my tongue, not used to myth being true. Of course I'm a threat. He's a colonizer that fears the Pima Indian in me, the eagle, the flight, the ritual of me. He fears the too bare earth child, the too savage in me, the too taramara in me, the too masculine female combine, the too healer and warrior in me. And he tried to sever me, slice me with his love, but with my too much Selena in my walk, too much Frank Ocean in my love and being too much storm in the summer, I broke a fragile masculinity. This queer body is a reason why men build walls, borders on their fingertips. I am the reason why men don't cry, don't open up to men. I will always be danger, a disease, a howling spirit. Awakening, 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 and I, I, I quiero que se oiga mi llanto. Diosito, dame consuelo. Para sacarme de adentro Esto que me está matando Ay, ay, ay Ay Thank you for watching Sunday morning session, my friends Uh, Sydney sessions, you got it We won't want to do another take But, uh Faye was amazing. Clap it up for Faye. I can see clap at home. Start clap. Thank you. Thank you very much. Make sure to check Faye out, 419 at Heartstorms. This has been Sunday Morning Sessions. Like, share, subscribe, follow, do everything. You can get us on Instagram, Twitter, Zanga, MySpace, Live Journal, uh, Vampire Freaks. Remember that? Not a lot of people do. I'm Eric. This is Dre. Thank you. Well,